Meteorologist Jamie Warren. Beautiful day, beautiful evening out there. Conditions are quiet. Take a look at the temperatures this afternoon. It was just about ideal. I mean, this is open window weather. 70 today in Springfield. Yes, still holding on to 60s for highs north and east of Springfield, but we're going to see 70s in these locations tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at the trends. We've been in the midst of a cool snap for the last well, almost week, going back to about the middle of last week. In fact, when you look at the month of May, May has been running cooler than normal. In fact, temperatures are running about a degree and a half below normal. And the reason is because we've only had a handful of days where temperatures were actually warmer than normal. A lot of this because of a lot of cloud cover and wet weather. We've seen certainly plenty of wet weather with rainfall totals for the month so far running about an inch above normal. The cool weather that we've seen this past weekend now into Monday, well, that's all compliments of being on the cool side of a trough of low pressure, which is here in the eastern United States. Now, oftentimes when you're on the back side of the trough, that's a dry place to be. But as you move deeper and deeper into the warm season and there's more warmth and humidity to play with with this northwest flow, you're still able to get some storms. And I think that that's what we're looking at. The risk for some spotty showers and thunderstorms over the next couple of days. Why? Well, we've got a frontal boundary to our southwest, which is going to be lifting northeast across the Ozarks slowly over the next couple of days. At the same time, that front's going to be bringing warmer, more humid air to the Ozarks. And upstairs in the atmosphere with this northwest flow, we're going to find these little weak pockets of upper level storminess moving through and that's going to help to trigger I think some bouts of at least widely scattered shower and thunderstorm activity that will tend to focus around the afternoon and evening time frames Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, right now as it stands, I think the better chances for storms in this pattern are going to tend to be from Springfield North and Springfield East and Southeast. And I think with this pattern, we can't completely rule out severe weather. Uh, primarily uh, a risk of hail with some of these stronger storms, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. And I also mentioned it's going to be turning much warmer and more humid than we've been experiencing the last several days. So if you've been itching for some warm temperatures, they're coming. Here's a look at our hour by hour forecast. We're going to go through the next couple of days. Now overnight tonight, clear and quiet right now, but there is going to be the risk along with some increase in cloud cover, the risk for a few spotty showers moving into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas by sunrise on Tuesday. As we work through the day, there will continue to be that risk for a spotty shower or thunderstorm across the area. And then as we get into the afternoon, we'll find that risk for spotty showers and thunderstorms uh, really kind of focusing, especially overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday to the east and northeast of Springfield. Temperatures tonight still cool as we've got cleared uh, skies and dry air in place across our eastern counties. We'll find lows in the mid 40s here in Springfield. Looks like about 50 or 49 for a low and then low 50s in Joplin. Tomorrow afternoon, there's your warmer weather. 70s in Rolla and Waynesville. 74 in Fort Leonard Wood tomorrow afternoon. Looks like about 76 here in Springfield, and there's an 80 on the map. We're going to find a lot more of that the rest of the week. Here's the pattern that we're looking at beyond Wednesday. It does look like things will dry out for a time for Thursday and Friday as a ridge in the jet stream pattern moves overhead. That's going to come with very warm temperatures. We're talking highs in the low to mid 80s Thursday and Friday. But this is something you don't necessarily want to see, and that is a trough developing across the western U.S. This is often a signal toward a much more active pattern here across the midsection of the country, and I think we're going to find that developing this upcoming weekend, and I think that more active pattern will continue into the following week. Here's our seven-day forecast. Again, I can't rule out a few spotty showers and thunderstorms the next couple of days. 76 for a high on Tuesday, 81 on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday look like dry days, highs in the low to mid 80s. Saturday, I think we're going to hold off those rain chances for the most part until late in the day or overnight Saturday night with storms increasing from the west. Again, there could be some severe weather with that. Still a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms Sunday into Monday with rain chances likely going back up again Monday night into Tuesday. Well, for the fans of warm weather, one of our warmest seven days forecast yep. so far this year. The warmest we've been so far is 85 degrees, and I think we're going to be flirting with those numbers Thursday and Friday. A couple days for Viewers sure. Viewers Club number, Jamie. Viewers Club number tonight, 245-598, jackpot $600. All right, thank you.